In this video, we're going to quickly go over the Primitives tool in 3D Code's Read Topology Workspace. If I click on that, you'll see we have primitives that are available to us that are very similar to what you have in the Sculpt Workspace. And if I click on the different objects, you can see how they change, much like the Sculpt Workspace. So let's choose this cube to work with. You can use your standard gizmo to make adjustments. And just as you have in the Sculpt Workspace, you can quickly align and place a primitive anywhere on another model. So let's choose Click to Place. And you'll notice some additional options that are available to you now, such as Scale to Brush Radius and Use Stroke Direction. If you don't use Stroke Direction, let's say this is off a bit. So now if I click to Place, it maintains that same orientation that I had. So let me zero this out. I'll bring this right back to the origin of the grid by clicking on this position clear button. And I can reset the axis and reset size. I can even align it to view if I want. So that's nice. But once more, we're going to use our options for click to place, scale brush radius and use stroke direction. So I'll scale my brush up by right clicking and dragging and let's say I want to place it here. So I want to click there and you'll see how not only does it adopt the same size but it also adopts the same orientation of the normals that are beneath the brush. So if I click over here, reduce my brush size, you can see how that changes. Now remember, just a very quick tip here, if you want, not only can you adjust the rotation here, but you can always click on any one of the widgets, click and hold and hit the space bar, and now you can add a value numerically. So let's say maybe 45 degrees. So 45. And I want to point out one additional option here, and that is use uniform Without that checked, you can arbitrarily add additional segments along any given axis. You can use a slider or you can add these in numerically if you like. So let's try three and three. But if you click that, then it locks that capability and when you add subdivision, it's all uniform. All right, so let's now hit the Apply button or the Enter key. And I'll step out of the tool. This is very similar to the Sculpt Room. 3D Coat will keep this in place because it assumes you want to continue creating additional meshes with this. So let's hit the Apply button again. This is a great way to do some poly modeling here inside the Retopo workspace. And you can also use the Retopo models mesh presets. The main difference is that they're not parametric like the Primitives tool is. Okay, so that is a quick look at using the new Primitives tool in 3D Code's Retopo workspace. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.